I went to see the Mission Impossible movie the other day, and as always, they had my favourite scene where the mission gets given out. It's always some kind of message inside a normal object, a VHS tape or a small camera or something like that. And I thought, why don't we try and build one using Edge AI ourselves? So what I've got in front of me is a VHS tape of the original Mission Impossible with a few things that I've tweaked. Let's have a look at how it works. This might get a little explosive. Verify agent ID. Ethan Hunt. Good morning, agent. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is create a keyword detector with edge impulse in under 15 minutes. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Whoa! <laughs> wow, it really did self-destruct. <laughs> so there we go. You saw the message and you saw it self-destruct. Let's talk about what's inside. We have our LCD display, which is wired up here. And we also have an Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense, a small dev kit with a bunch of sensors, including a microphone. What we've got running on here is all the logic to show the messages and also our keyword spotting algorithm trained in Edge Impulse to help detect when the user says the right agent's name, Ethan Hunt. Once that keyword's detected, it plays the message and triggers one of the digital pins to turn on, which turns this transistor switch on, which passes power supply through this plug directly to the reverse pins of this capacitor. And when you wire a capacitor up in reverse and pass a high voltage, what it'll do is explode with a bang. Do not try this at home. As always, we did this in a controlled environment. But now let's talk about how we built that keyword spotting algorithm. In order to train this model, I collected data for the phrase I wanted to detect. Ethan Hunt. And also for background noise and some unknown words from a public data set. I then trained my model using the simple create impulse workflow with a window size of 1000 milliseconds, an audio MFE pre-processing block, and the classifier with a 2D convolutional network. Once I trained that all the way through, I used the Arduino library deployment to take my model, which was only 30 kilobytes in RAM and 71K in flash, and build it into a simple Arduino program that I could then deploy to my device. If you want to learn more about how you can get started with Edge AI, head to edgeimpulse.com forward slash sign up and you can sign up for free today.